Welcome back to the new season of The Current. I'm Dilly. I'm Dave. Let's get started. The original crazy politician Sarah Palin has publicly endorsed Republican candidate Donald Trump January 19th at a rally in Iowa. After many medical professionals concluded she wasn't having a stroke, language analysts can only guess that she had teamed up with language inventor David Peterson, the author of The Art of Language Invention, in efforts to connect with her fellow crazies in Iowa. Winter snowstorm Jonas came and went this Saturday, much like my one night stand, Patricia. Anyway, storm Jonas struck New York and Washington, which shut down transportation there. The people of Washington took advantage of the chance to ski in the street. It is much more convenient than taking a, the bus or car, one person said. Also, Minnesotans have found a way to make winter even more fun, by freezing their pants and displaying them in public. The burgeoning trend started with a 61-year-old Minneapolis resident named Tom, Tom Grotting, who began erecting sculptures made of his frozen pants to entertain his neighbors. It is funny but creepy all at the same time, especially at night. Imagine when you walk outside at night, all around you are erected pants. Could this be the walking dead? And now to our correspondent Michelle, who is currently at the edge of the world. According to rapper B.O.B., the world is indeed flat. Sorry Neil deGrasse Tyson, who actually did have a ride hundreds of years ago. Thanks to B.O.B.'s dedicated research and scientific method, we can all agree that a trip to the moon, and thus the pictures of Earth, were all actually a conspiracy and really the photo show homework of a NASA intern. Brennan's Pub, the popular low-key Sodexo establishment located in the Davis Center, is known for food selections such as sandwiches and salads, as well as being known as the best, next best thing after the Grundle. Located past Scrotenburg, but if you've gone past Anisville, you've gone too far. A lesser known benefit is the complimentary popcorn Brennan's offers. What's not free? The 25 cent water cup you will need after consuming a regrettable three bags worth. No comments from one fan of Brennan's popcorn, no comment because he died suddenly of dehydration. We here at The Current have decided to go behind the scenes for you folks by revealing some startling facts. This beloved popcorn maker that everyone keeps talking about is, well, a fraud. We have video evidence exposing this machine's true purpose. At Portland Community College, located in Oregon, a new program is being held for the first time in April of this year entitled Whiteness History Month. It appears that 11 months out of the year just wasn't cutting it for this group. They say they're using this project to challenge the master narrative of race and racism through an exploration of social construct of whiteness. I think it's pretty safe to say that you've done all the mastering of race and racism that there is. Now over to our reporter, Callie, who's at a 7-Eleven right now, interviewing one of the Powerball winners. Thanks, Dilly. Yes, I'm here with one of our lucky lottery winners. So, I understand you'd like to remain anonymous, so I'll call you Bob. Can I call you Bob? Yeah, yeah, call me Bob. Yeah. Great! Well, I'll start by saying congratulations. How do you feel? Awake. Finally awake. Awesome! And how do you plan on spending your winnings? I'll take that as an undecided then. So, since your name is also spelled B-O-B, do you also think that the world it <laughs> Back to you guys. British explorer Henry Worsley died 30 miles short of his goal on an epic trip across the Antarctic. Since he was close friends with Prince William, the explorer will be missed by all of England. Many political analysts are drawing parallels between his unlikely journey and that of Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. These claims seem to be not out of fact, but out of pure hopefulness that Trump will also meet a perilous end prior to achieving his goal. Unlike Worsley's death, however, England will most likely not give a shit if Donald Trump were to miraculously die. If I had papers, I'd throw them up in the air. We're out. See you next week on The Current.